this is just a car addict. The fat guy with the beard and the red coat whose image hasn't been stolen by Coca-Cola's marketing department. Today we have a 1970 Chevy Impala. I dug this out last night, uh, hoping that today would be a simple, you know, cold start, move it around the yard, maybe rip up and down the road. Okay, so present me just blew out his back and got a couple hernias digging out the Impala so that future me tomorrow can just throw a heater on it and hopefully go rip donuts or something. We'll need to see. There's only one brake that actually works, and on snow that usually means you're going for a ride. So I'll need to see how ballsy I feel tomorrow. But I had to dig back all the way to the rear wheel. As you can see, this, the snow is above the rear. The snow is taller than I am. Well, that's not unsettling at all. Well, I didn't realize how cold uh, future me was going to be. It's about five below zero right now. So I'm going to let the heater just bake on it for a little bit here. We'll see if we can get it to go. Uh, we're also getting some fresh snow. So the road is now uh, not fun. And I only have one functioning brake. So you know that pretty much means you're gonna just fucking slide. Fire! Before we get too far in the video here, I want to say last night we hit 101 subscribers. So thank you to everybody who has subscribed or given watch time or liked the video. It's much appreciated. I don't have high ambitions uh, for this channel besides getting just monetized enough to pay for some gas. You know, that would be nice. But every one of you is greatly appreciated. I've been trying to work on this video for about a week now, I had to move two other vehicles to get back to the Impala, and I figured this might be the one to put me over 100 subscribers, and it's my favorite car, so I figured why not? But I had to move this piece of shit first. This car is 27 years old. It can legally apply for historic plates locally. That means I'm almost 24. I don't know how the fuck any of this is happening. Bunch of other shit. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Day late and a dollar short like normal. But we're still gonna do it because, well, I need to move the car. Gotta grab the battery out of the charger, hoping that is held a charge. No, no pun intended. I'm not that bright. What a lot of lower 48ers don't understand when I say I hate winter is when we get snow, uh, it doesn't sporadically melt away and then we get another couple inches. We live with it for like six fucking months and we keep getting more and more and more. Meanwhile, it's like 20 below or so. So, yeah, totally different. Now I get to play a game called Where the Fuck Did I Leave My Battery? I swear to God, if I dig this whore out and there's no battery in here, I'm gonna be pissed. Yep, my dumb ass left the good battery in the vehicle it's hardest to get out of. That's, that's nice. Get over here, you piece of shit. And remember, says Mate. And we'll just throw that in the engine bay here so it can slowly warm up with everything else. Hopefully it's not dead because uh, I don't have another one charged up right now. God damn, there's just something about a nice blue with natural patina. I don't know what it is, but it always looks fucking great. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off the hood. We're starting to warm up. I run into this problem every year because I just have a four-wheeler with a plow on it to deal with snow in the yard here. So I can't push it back as far or as tight as a plow truck, but that tree back there is the end of the lot. And this has already all been filled in. So uh, I'm gonna start running out of space and I wanna make sure I have everything ready come spring to where if I can drive it, it will be driven. So I'm going to move the Impala over here next to the Jeep, retire this spot for plowing for now, and then the divot the Impala's in will be the new snow dump. So if you hadn't noticed, this is a four-door hardtop, and if too bad it's a four-door just went through your head, eat shit. So this is an all-original car. 
I do have this piece for the wheel and the trunk. There are the original hubcaps. Dash has seen better days, which is sad. I'll need to recover that or something. I have been looking for that pen since last summer. It has seat covers that actually match the car and both front and back match. Package tray back there is water damaged, which sucks. All in all, like headliner, literally perfect. All in all, it's a very nice car for the $300 I spent on it. I just noticed something new and fun. Take a look at that. And then take a look at the 38. Okay, that's still green, so that's great. And I'm just now realizing this car was fully winterized, so this has been a total waste of time. Gotta remember where the fucking dipstick is on this. Right up at the full. Blacker than my soul, but that's fine. Okay, let's see if this might crank over. We're gonna just crank to begin with to build a little bit of oil pressure. Then I will pump it like Michael Jackson, try to get fuel to it. I think this is the right key because it's the only GM I own. Bigfoot. Let's not forget, this is running off of gas from 94 when it was parked, so it is a little rough, but gas is expensive, so it's good enough. We have the danger lights. It doesn't even gallop that bad. Okay, now I'll set up the tripod and we'll try to start it for real. Well, it's almost like it's stuck in the snow berm or something. I would have no idea why that would be occurring. You gotta love the smell of 1994 gas as you're trying to dig this piece of shit out. It smells like $1.20 a gallon. I've never gotten this on video before, but sometimes when you're clearing off a car, it will stay uh, sagged out. You gotta lift up at the wheel well and it'll pop back up. Still caught a little bit on that side. Well, the lazy part of me didn't want to dig this whole thing out, but I guess it's catching on the rear bumper just enough to make it not want to, you know, do do the whole forward thing. So, oh, fuck.
forgot how long the ass end of this car was. No wonder it was hanging up. It was probably resting right on here from all that weight. Bigfoot. Just look at how majestic this old battleship is. And when I say ship, I mean it literally. Taillights stick on, I guess. That's that's nice. Brakes don't work, but the lights do. Makes sense. God, it looks so good. Okay, so it's not that much of a fan of the road. I'm just trying to make it to the top of the hill. You can do it. Well, sadly, it's not much of a fan of the snow. If it hadn't have snowed last night and we had fresh stuff on top of hard pack, it probably would have done fine. But uh, I made it down to the mailbox, would try to go up to the other cluster to turn around to back in correctly, and it, it stalled out halfway up the hill. I was just fucking spinning. So backed it all the way down around the blind curve, which was, yeah, I, I have heartburn now and somehow got this barge to swing in here the correct way. But this is where it's gonna live for now. You can see just how far out that snow pile has come. Next spring, one of the videos I have planned is doing a full detail of this interior, shampooing the carpet, cleaning the seats, dusting everything off, maybe make a covering for that dash, put the wheel back together, all that kind of stuff. And I know that's a small target audience, but it's one of my passions. So it will give me a reason to actually go forward and clean this. As you can see, not a whole lot needs to be done, really. But I, I just want to freshen it up a little bit. Me, I would really love to build another package tray back here. I'll need to see if I can get measurements and just make some sort of cardboard thing for now because that that's the grossest part of the interior here this seat i swear to god is like new the whole car is pretty much like new you know 50 years ago but uh i don't know it's probably my favorite in the yard i hope to have more action this video than some of my other ones to keep people entertained for longer for watch time more than anything but uh, it, it just, it's just not going anywhere. It does sound glorious. So this spring I got to address the brakes because only one works. And uh, there, there's something in the uh, ignition system that makes it hit weird every now and then. And there's a little bit of a miss you can hear. So I'll probably just go through and uh, freshen up all of that. And it sounds like a healthy motor, so for it being seized a year and a half ago, I'm not going to complain. But anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, all like three of you who have remained. And uh, yeah, I, next time we'll probably do the International.